Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on basic networking interview question and answers for Fresher. And guys, this is going to be part one. And there will be multiple parts uh, and all those parts, all those videos will be dedicated for my Fresher friends who all are preparing for interview. So let's start with question number one. Question number one says, what is a network? So guys, this is a very basic question, but I thought it's a very important question that every guy should know whenever he is approaching for networking interview. So a very simple question, as I told, and the answer is also very straightforward. A network is a collection. Collection of what guys? Computers, servers, networking devices and other devices connected connected for what connected to share data and resources so basically network is a collection collection of multiple devices which are connected to each other or these multiple devices will include computers servers networking devices like routers switches firewalls load balancers etc and they're connected to each other they are shown here. So they are connected to each other. What is the purpose of getting connected? Purpose of getting connected is to share. Share what? Data and resources. You know, so this is the main purpose why we all are connected to a network. You know, multiple, we have, our mobile phones are connected to the network. This is a purpose to share. Like This is, a, this is why we are having uh, Internet, this is why we are we are using, you know, the stuff like Facebook, Snapchat, Insta, etc. So, this is, this is network, guys, okay? So, you can answer this question. Maybe you can just remember this definition, I'll say, of network. And you can, um, of course, give this answer. A sub-question to this question would be that, uh, okay, this is network. Then what is internet? So, guys, internet is nothing but network of networks. So, there are multiple networks connected to each other. So, the network of networks is internet. And internet is kind of, I'll say, a public network. Okay, where we all are connected. So, that is internet. So, let's move to question number two. What is an IP address? So, IP address is nothing but a numerical label. It's a numerical label assigned to each device connected to the network. And that uses IP protocol, that is internet protocol for communication. So, as we mentioned here that, you know, a lot of devices connected to each other. So, IP address is just a numerical label assigned to those devices. And how it looks like? It looks like, like this. Like you have mentioned 192, 168, 1 .1. You know, you guys may be also having currently you are accessing your, uh, you are watching this video on your mobile phone or from your laptop or your PC. Uh, of course, they are connected to internet and they will be having some IP address. So, this is an IP address, which is a numerical label. So, again, a sub question to this question will be question number three. What are the types of IP address? IP address we understood now. Now, what are the types of IP address? So, guys, there are two types of IP addresses. Do remember this. IPv4, that is version 4, and IPv6, that is version 6. So, the major difference between this, I, this IP addresses is that IPv4 is 32-bit and IPv6 is 128-bit. So, guys, do remember IPv4 is 32 bit and IPv6 is 128 bits, 128 bits. Guys, do remember this particular values. These are very, very, very important. And how they look, you can see over here that this is how an IP address, IP version 4 address looks, IPv4 address looks, and this is how IPv6 address looks. But the major major difference what you can mention is this particular point that is 32 bit and 128 bits so this is this is very important guys to remember let's move to question number 
फोर वॉट इज अबनेट मार्क्स सो सबनेट मार्क्स गाइज नाउ वी हैव सीन आई पी एड्रेस ओके सो दिस पर्टिकुलर आई पी एड्रेस लेट्स दिस इज एन आई पी एड्रेस ओके सो दिस आई पी एड्रेस विल हैव सम पोर्शन इन नेटवर्क एंड सम पोर्शन इन होस्ट पार्ट ओके सो दिस सबनेट मार्क्स बेसिकली डिटरमाइंस दिस सो अ सबनेट मार्क्स डिटरमाइंस द नेटवर्क I mentioned here the network and the host portion of IP address. Now the subnet marks looks like this. So we just saw what and how I how an IP address looks like. So subnet marks looks like this. We can just refer to this uh, conversion. So this is bin in in binary. So this is how it is converted to uh, from binary. So this is two fifty five. This is two fifty five. Two fifty five dot zero. So the first three octets are all ones. Fine. So the first three octets will belong to the network part or the network portion, and the last octet here will will be host portion. So subnet bounds determines the host and the on the network and the host portion of an ip address so guys do remember this answer let's move to question number 5 what is a hub so guys a hub is nothing but a layer 1 device okay so when we say layer 1 device this is a physical layer i have a dedicated uh, question for that 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 osi layers so we'll go through that also so layer 1 is guys nothing but a physical layer and uh, hub is a layer 1 device so basically we say that hub is a dumb device so guys this is hub you might have seen guys this uh, this hub uh, uh, device in your uh, college in your computer labs you may be having uh, such such hubs so these hubs are nothing but uh, the devices which are used to extend our network so basically the purpose of having the hub is that only just to extend the network uh, that is the main purpose so what exactly it does it just whenever a signal comes to one port it basically boost it and it forward it to all the ports so it do not have any such intelligence with it, uh, with it. so that is the reason why we call it as a dumb device okay like our switches or routers or firewalls you know load balancers they have some intelligence okay they they are they are intelligent enough to to decide where the where to forward that data where to forward that packet so it it have that intelligence but this particular device hub don't have that intelligence so that is the reason why we call hub as a dumb device it just boost the electrical signal received on that port nothing else it does let's move to the question number 6 what is a mac address as we have seen uh, ip address i forgot to mention one point here guys in ip address i don't think so i mentioned that point okay i'll, I'll mention here so ip address guys whenever we say ip address na so ip address is basically layer 3 address and whenever we say mac so mac is a layer 2 address so do remember this point ip address is a layer 3 address and mac address is a layer 2 address so do remember this point so mac address basically it's an uh, unique identifier assigned to network interface for communications on the physical network so it it will have some a uh, number like this some hexadecimal stuff so every device like your pc or your mobile phone every networking device will have a mac address and this is layer 2 address this is this is used for communication both these addresses are used for communication but direct they, they works at different layer ip address is also used for communication mac address is also used for communication but they do work at different layers mac address work at layer 2 and ip address work at layer 3 so th that is the reason why mac address is known as layer 2 address i have mentioned over here or the physical address we see okay let's move to question number 7 okay so question number 7 says what are the seven layers of osi model so these are the seven layers of osi model guys osi is nothing but open system interconnection model so this is basically a model standard reference model prepared 
uh, that how the communication should happen. So there are different different layers in that. So the very first layer is physical layer. Then followed by so this is layer one. Layer two is the data link layer. Layer three is network layer. Layer four is transport layer. Layer five is the session layer. Layer six is the presentation layer, and layer seven is the application layer. So you have to remember this in this particular sequence only. In this particular order, you have to remember it. You may use this particular, uh, I will say, uh, thing to just remember. It depends upon you. So do remember it like physical data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, and application layer. So you have to remember this this particular, um, I will say, layers in that particular sequence or in this particular order. So uh, in the coming videos uh, for this particular uh, uh, freshers interviews, I may include some some questions related to this particular uh, layers. But but you are a fresher and you ask this question. You are, you are asked this question, guys. What are the seven layers you should be able to answer this? This is critical. This is very 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 important. I'll say very important. Okay. So this is a very important question guys do remember this seven layers let's move to question number 8 now question number 8 says that how to check ip address assigned to a pc or a laptop a very basic but again you should know the answer you should know the command the command is ip config okay so if you give this command you will uh, you will know the ip address assigned to your uh, PC, you know, and uh, or your or your laptop. So this is the answer, and it looks like this. Most of guys will be aware, but I thought that I should mention this question. Okay, this is very, very, very important. Again, I'll say uh, one of the most important question that what is the difference between TCP and UDP? So. These are the few differences, you know, I've mentioned these four differences and these are very important. As a fresher, at least you should be able to answer this question by giving these four differences. So what are the differences? So TCP, guys, the type of this prot protocol is like, it's a connection-oriented protocol. Okay. And this is a connection-less protocol. UDP is connection-less protocol. Why? So that is the reason why it is not reliable. UDP is not reliable. If the packet is sent, whether it is received or not, it don't care. So that is the reason it is not reliable. But in PCP, if the packet is sent, it should be received. If it is not received, it will resend it. So that is the reason why it is yes. Since it is reliable, it is connection oriented, we say, and if the packets are not sent from the transmitter to the receiver, it, it again resends this packet. That is the reason it is a slower as compared to UDP. UDP is faster. UDP, UDP is real time. So that is the use case I have given. Video streaming, the real time video streaming, voice over IP. The call which we make via IP, you know, voice over IP. So that is all real time. So whatever is real time, that is UDP. That is that that needs to be faster. So that is the reason it is connection less and it is not reliable. But TCP is a reliable. It is connection oriented. That is the reason it's a bit slower. But and again the use cases is like web or email. You can give this two examples. No issues. So, guys, do remember these differences, guys. This is a very, very, very important question. If you want me to make a dedicated video on TCP versus UDP, I can make it. I can maybe I can make it about 10-15 minutes video on this. Yes, please let me know in the comment section. Question number 10: How to check connectivity to other devices so if you wanted to check let's say that the, the interview throws you this question the interviewer throw throw you this question that how can you check whether that particular ip address is reachable or not which command will you use to check 
the connectivity of the other device how will you answer this question the command is very simple ping and if you are going to make your careers in network this is your friend ping so this is ping and ping is going to be a friend because it's all ping it's whenever you are talking about network it is all about ping ping is working everything is working fine thank you so ping is very important so what is ping exactly is so ping is the command but i'll say ping is not in command basically ping is basically a tool it is also a command guys but it's a tool basically you know it's it's a tool of an ip protocol stack which is used to get the layer 3 information or the layer 3 status so if i wanted to know the layer 3 status of that particular device i'll ping it i'll repeat ping is a tool of an ip protocol stack ping is a tool of ip protocol stack which is used to get the layer 3 layer 3 is nothing but the network layer the layer 3 status of that particular device so so this is how the ping looks i have ping this 8.8.8.8 this is nothing but uh, google dns ip address so so 8.8.8.8 i have ping and you can see here these are the packets you know packet sends are 4 receiver are 4 so the loss is 0 and the zero percentage of loss so this is the ping so guys i'll stop in this video here i have only 10 question answers over for, for this particular part 1 i'll come up with uh, question number 11 to 20 in part number 2 uh, please do write me on this particular uh, email address if you have any queries uh, related to interview question answers or or any other query related to networking itself you can you can mail me on network engineer stuff at gmail.com if you want any notes something like that you can just mail me on this particular uh, email address i will try to provide you with that notes and it's all free uh, you can also whatsapp me on this number this is the number uh, you can whatsapp me on this number i'll try to reply on this number also i can provide you with that notes and every stuff what i provide you on on email i can provide you i'll try to provide it you on whatsapp also so i'll stop here in this particular video i'll catch up you in the next video guys till then work hard be prepared do practice your labs a lot i'll come up with more videos more question and answers we'll we'll meet in the next video till then bye thanks and have a nice day thank you